Metro 2033 is an FPS that was released in 2010, and the Redux version was released in 2014. Black Nut and Stadia are both what we call exclusive cloud gaming platforms, where you pay for a subscription and get a list of games to play under that subscription plan. Both platforms have Metro 2033 Redux on their game list, so we want to compare how well each platform played the game. So make sure to subscribe and put those gas masks on, and let's get to it. If you've seen our previous videos on Black Nut, you'll know that the game performance is lacking. Resolution only goes to 720p, and you'll have streaming interruptions and hiccups, and have frames nowhere near 60fps. So how is the gameplay? The game plays surprisingly well. We are located in the United States, and there's a Black Nut server somewhere in North America, so input lag is actually pretty decent. We made a full video on this above. You'll be able to react to enemies just fine without too much error. It's just too bad it'll be hard to see because of the video quality. Now the game options were still intact. If you open the menu, you can see that the video options are still here. I tried to change the resolution to test whether Black Nut would go higher than 720p, and the game crashed on me, so don't try this. I'm surprised I didn't take this option out altogether. Now on to Stadia. We've covered some gameplay on this game in the past, if you're interested, but if you can't see from the gameplay here, Stadia is gorgeous. This gameplay here is actually in 4K. I had to reduce the resolution for this video. The gameplay is smooth, clear, and between 50 to 60 frames per second at all times playing on my 60 inch 4K TV. Another thing is the input lag is spot on. I can hardly tell that there is any input lag due to the Google server infrastructure. Now, be aware that this will be dependent on where you live though. Check out that video for more information. Now, if you've seen some of our other Stadia comparison videos, you will know that they disable most of the video settings on other games. This is because Stadia will automatically adjust resolution and quality based on your internet connection and device size. Small devices do not need as much bitrate or higher resolution, so Stadia will automatically adjust the video configuration for you when needed. So Stadia was smart enough to get rid of this feature in the settings altogether. If you can't tell who won this platform battle, then you probably need to get your eyes checked. I mean, do you like this? Or this? Stadia is the obvious winner here, let alone the fact that a Black Nut subscription is $15.99 a month while a Stadia Pro membership is only $9.99 a month. You will definitely get more bang for your buck with a Stadia Pro subscription, at least for this game. Remember that this game is only free on Stadia if you have a Stadia Pro membership. If you're looking to sign up, the link is in the description. You can also pay for the game separately without a Stadia Pro subscription if you want as well. For the latest news, gameplay, and comparisons on cloud gaming, like this comparison between Black Nut and Stadia, make sure to like this video and subscribe at the only place where you can do battle in gaming heaven, Cloud Gaming Battle.